Hey guys, Jared here again. And not sure if you heard about this, but Double Helix Games, they're the developer behind the brand new Killer Instinct on the Xbox One, which is actually, I think it's my favorite or second favorite Xbox One launch title. I really enjoy it. I haven't been playing it as much as I wanted because I've been crazy busy, but uh, I have been playing it over the last couple of days. I went back and I've been trying to get back into the groove of it, and they released a nice new patch. Uh, we've got another character playable now with Spinal and Fulgore is coming up soon. So, um, for those that don't know, Killer Instinct was basically designed as a platform, not a game. And th there's been people sort of on the fence about this. Some like it, some don't like it. Which is to say, well, that choice is ultimately up to you. But the idea was that instead of it being a full release game, in other words comes out, it's got X amount of characters on there, there's a story mode, there's all these other types of modes, and then after a set period of time, there'll be DLC-like additional characters. So basically what I just described is something like um, Injustice, the um, DC fighter there that uh, Steven really got into. Um, I've also basically just described every single fighting game that's been released since Street Fighter 4. Like that, that's basically the model that... Um, fighting games follow now but microsoft wanted the game out like day one of the xbox one's launch and they only contracted double helix i think it was like six or eight months before the xbox one launch so that's just not enough time in order to release a polished product so what they decided instead was to release it as a platform as its own standalone platform what does that mean well it means that on day one you'll have like six characters each character will have their own stage, and the core fighting engine will be complete, but that's it. There won't be any bells and whistles, there won't be like virtually anything else. All of that will slowly come with time. Think of it like, um, well, like Google Play, or um, iOS's uh, App Store, okay? That's a platform. And the platform is only successful if it's continuously updated with new features, new games in that, in that sense or whatever. So with Killer Instinct, the idea is that the platform is only going to be successful as long as it continues to be fed new content. New, not games in this case, but new characters, new stages, new features, new everything. Now Double Helix has been very open and I gotta be honest guys, they did an amazing job with this game. They really did. I mean, I've had people here on uh, the channel, they've actually commented and they thought it was rare and stuff like that, but no guys, rare is not part of this whatsoever. It's uh, Double Helix and Microsoft that really, well really you gotta give Double Helix the credit. They, they came out of nowhere and they really like, really did a bang up job with uh, Killer Instinct. But Double Helix has been bought out by Amazon. Dun, dun, dun. That's right. Amazon purchased Double Helix. So, as the title implies, what happens to Killer Instinct now? You see, we've now learned that Double Helix was con contracted to basically do Season 1, which includes Spinal, Fulgore, and I believe the story mode for Killer Instinct, but that's about it. They're, they may be contracted to do a couple of things here and there, but we they've now confirmed, Microsoft's now confirmed that Double Helix will not be involved, well, not be involved. They won't be the primary developer, obviously, because now they're being purchased by Amazon. So what does that like mean for Killer Instinct? Does that mean that it's over? Is it finished? If like is it just going to go into obscurity and that's the end of it? Well, unfortunately that is a possibility. That could very well happen. I'm hoping it doesn't just because I like the sort of idea of a platform. I'm a little disappointed in sort of the openness with Microsoft. I wish they sort of had like a not a firm release schedule, but 
like I like what they did with Spinal. I like what they did with Fulgore, saying like, look, these guys are coming at within this time range. But I really wish they would have done that for like the story mode, maybe finishers, things like that. But anyway, the thing is now we're really in the dark here. We're we're really really in the dark here because we don't know what is going to happen with season two. Um, it's a brand new developer, so is it going to feel like two games? Um, we know that all of the, the core engine belongs to the Double Helix. However, usually when you do contract work like this, Microsoft will retain ownership of the engine um, afterwards. So I'm pretty sure all the assets and things like that will go to Microsoft. But if Microsoft's just going to hand this off to another developer, uh, that that's not going to be... Uh, very easy for the other developer unless a lot of people from Double Helix jump on board the Microsoft bandwagon and then sort of act like a bridge but they've already said on, on Twitter and things like that a lot of the the core employees have said that we're Double Helix games you know like we're gonna follow what what is sort of going on here we're not gonna be just you know upping and leaving so I don't know I really don't know what's gonna happen with the game right now I know there's a lot of gamers out there that are kind of nervous because they just don't know what's gonna happen and it would be a real shame if this is if this game sort of gets neglected because like let's be honest if another developer has to come in and learn from scratch everything that Double Helix did this idea of a platform will collapse because we won't get any content I mean, it's, it's done pretty good in the, the couple of months that it's already been out. But if we go a couple of months afterwards with nothing, absolutely nothing, this game will fall into obscurity and will only be playable on like Evo and uh, tournaments like that. But let's be honest, that is a small fraction of uh, the population, especially of the people who actually own an Xbox One. So anyways, I just wanted to make this quick video asking you guys, what do you think is going to happen with... Um, with Killer Instinct, are we sort of screwed or do you think uh, having this other developer come on board is going to be enough to, to retain this platform idea or, or just what do you think is going to happen? So by all means, leave a comment. Uh, I'm really curious, so I'm sure a lot of you guys will be too. Thanks for watching as always. I'll be back soon with more videos like this. Take care, everyone.